Just talks between the new German defense minister and the U.S. Secretary of Defense took place on the eve of the regular eighth meeting of the contact group on the defense of Ukraine in the Rammstein format. Before the talks began, both ministers said they would continue to help Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. So we'll continue to support uh, Ukrainian uh, people as, as they resist uh, Russian aggression and defend their sovereign territory. I'd like to thank the German government for all that it has done to strengthen Ukraine's self-defense and your contributions of security assistance and training for Ukraine's defenders have been inv invaluable. Experts believe that the Leopard 2 tanks could be the main topic for negotiations. The permission to supply such weapons to Ukraine is required from Germany. Some EU countries such as Poland and Finland have already agreed to provide them in case the German government agrees to such a solution. I think that the U.S. Secretary of Defense will try to convince his German counterpart, who has the appropriate powers from the Chancellor, that the tanks themselves are not a factor that can somehow especially provoke a reaction from Russia. The U.S. Secretary of Defense noted that Germany is one of the most important allies of the United States and praised its contribution to strengthening the eastern flank of NATO. In turn, Boris Pistorius, appointed to the post of minister a few hours before the meeting, noted that after the start of a full-scale war, NATO proved to be a reliable alliance capable of acting. Putin's terrible war in Ukraine has given NATO a chance to show what it is, namely a supportive and stable alliance that has proven to be reactive and capable of acting and will continue to do so. I am very grateful for this because the basis on which NATO stands is shared values, a common strategy, common actions and shared responsibility. He also noted that the US and Germany stand side by side in providing weapons systems such as infantry fighting vehicles, Patriot or multiple rocket launch systems. And German systems are performing well in Ukraine. We are talking about the fact that those systems that have already been transferred by the allies of Ukraine, in particular by Germany, that is, the same self-propelled artillery installations, are much more dangerous. We can say that this weapon can inflict significantly more losses on the Russians than the tank itself. But the question is that tanks are the weapon that is necessary for a counteroffensive, And perhaps discussions and internal feelings arise here. But I sincerely hope that the solution will be found on the American side, so that positive news for Ukraine appears at tomorrow's Rammstein. The head of the Pentagon noted that on January the 20th in Rammstein, during a meeting of the content group on assistance to Ukraine, partners will renew their joint promises regarding long-term support. Reported by Dana Kolasnik, Yulia Bil,